Hi, this is Dreadog, and I have kind of a special uh, unboxing, um, another Ultra Savers uh, unboxing here, but this one's kind of uh, special in a way. Um, I have recently had some hip surgery, uh, and I've been on crutches for um, about eight weeks now, uh, and I finally got the word from uh, my physical therapist that I was going to be able to move to uh, a cane. Um, and about the same time, about last week, um, um, uh, a person posted on Reddit in the slash r slash lightsabers um, about um, some crutches she's making. And, and she's uh, in a wheelchair, but she's mobile enough that she can actually use crutches at, at, some, at some point. Um, and I got really excited because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a cane lightsaber because um, I think that's really cool. Um, and so she's been super responsive. Um, and gave me a ton of information. Um, and at the same time, um, Saber Sourcing, which is a, a lightsaber blog and, and video reviewer, um, did an article on her um, and um, you know highlighted some of this cool stuff that she was doing. And she's done a lot of charity work. Uh, and she does a lot of cosplay, and it's all really neat. Um, and you can see more of it on. I'll show you on my iPad here. Um, so uh, on Facebook, she is Falcon Cosplay, and you can go to Facebook.com/slash Falcon Cosplay, all one word, and get to her cosplay uh, page. You can kind of see this is the article from Saber Sourcing, um, and it's funny, you know. And I mentioned she's actually um, uh, doing some fundraising for the Alzheimer's Association Connecticut chapter. Um, you know, uh, this was uh, earlier this week. Um, but again, you can kind of see the the cane sabers there. And she's been just really, really responsive and super nice uh, in asking questions. I've asked people questions on Reddit, and most of the time I don't get a response. Um, though I, we have found, I would say the lightsaber community actually has been really good about responding. So um, what I have in here is uh, I actually wanted to go the same route. And funny enough, I was looking at the same saber that she had uh, that she's using, which is the um, Ultra Sabers Brood Guard uh, LE. And uh, she went with that probably for the exact same reason I was looking at it, in that it's kind of a billy club style, and it has a nice, uh, so it has a nice kind of uh, grip on it. Uh, peanuts, oh, that's gonna be, make a mess. Um, and so um, when I spoke to my physical therapist, and uh, they said, yep, you're gonna be moving to, um, you're gonna be moving over to uh, crutch or, or to a cane, um, I was like, great, put the order in and um, asked her some questions of the community, asked some questions of Ultra Sabers, and they were really quick to respond. Um, and so then I got the order put in, and they were actually really fast to get the order processed. Actually, I think I put this order in on Wednesday. Um, I over had them overnight up. There's the blade. Um, and it, uh, and it um, showed up today. Um, and um, of course, with this, I also got a mystery box because I am a mystery box addict. So um, this is, again, a special uh, unboxing in that this is gonna both be um, the Broodguard LE, uh, uh, and we'll take a look at that. And then as I kind of add some customization to that to make it into a cane, I will document some of that as well. But then there should also be a uh, mystery box in here. Um, I'm just gonna pour all the peanuts out. There we go. Get everything out of here. There we go. Big mess of peanuts. Um, so I'm going to take a quick editing break just to clean up the peanuts so that we don't have them all over the table. And then I'll be right back. And we're back in the way of the clean table. So we're going to start with what we don't know. Uh, well, we'll start with the, the add-on. So code tip clip, standard, good, solid, fine with that. Uh, Charging uh, cable, um, I did have them put a, a charging port into the uh, brood card. Um, have the brood guard, this is the blade for the mystery box. Um, we'll get to the blade on the brood guard later, but let's go ahead and open up the thing we don't know. So let's open up the, uh, the mystery saber. Um, so uh, there was a lot of peanuts uh, in the box, um, but uh, you know, it's always, as now it's the, I mean, everything's really nice, well packed. So I can't fault them uh, for that. So let's see what we have this time. Uh, congratulations, uh, you have a Saber Clip Sound. I did order it with sound. Um, and it is a EVE Wind. Interesting. Um, somebody passed me the wind. That took almost there. It doesn't work really well, but it gets there. Um, and I'm not sure. 
which one this is. So we will unwrap it and then I'm gonna quickly pull up their website. Interesting, big chunk of, big chunk of, oh, uh, retention screw there. EVE Wind, uh, JSM has, has signed off on this. Thank you, JSM. Appreciate that. So we will, uh, that's got the a blade retention screw on it. This was an interesting decision. Uh, yeah, EVE Wind. Now we're gonna cut the label. Please remove the tab. We now understand that what that means. This is one I did order with sound. Um, I just find that I think you, you end up with a, some more interesting options with the sound. It's got a very interesting feel. I'm actually really excited to see what this one is. It's got an interesting feel to it. And, wow. Wow, that is a big, nice saber um, with a Kovatec clip. That's awesome. Um, in the past, these have not come with Kovatec clips. This is actually quite, quite spectacular. Um, and interestingly, I was really, so we'll see the Broodguard um, has, has the Billy Club style, but I was also kind of considering what I want to do for a, uh, for a more standard kind of cane saber. Um, and a lot of what I have isn't very easily identifiable as a saber, and I think this really is. So this is really cool. Um, doesn't come on yet. Looks like we have one LED. Um, we know why it doesn't come on though, because we have to pull Mr. Tab. Uh, so we will unscrew, 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 unscrew. And let's see. So it's a standard battery pack, so I'm assuming it is a standard uh, sound board. So it's probably an obsidian light. That would be about right. There's no, uh, I don't see a, a, uh, um, a USB port. It's using standard batteries and that's consistent with uh, what we've learned in the past. So um, again, as a, new, as a new intro person, if you're new to this and you're not really sure, you get a mystery box and you're not sure, uh, a couple of indications that you have an intro level or the light level obsidian is, uh, first of all, when it starts up, it says obsidian. Then if you look, if it's got standard double A's, likely again, still obsidian. And then if you look at the board, you'll see that there's really no way to add more sounds to it. So that's your, your the signals that we have now learned for an obsidian saber. Okay. So, and they have a, a nice, uh, there's nothing wrong with the default sounds. Um, it is, uh, you know, very light saber sounds. It's, it's very clean and straightforward. I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna set this right here, and then we will cut open the blade. So we'll start here, and we'll cut this open. And then we will slide off. Uh, and this is always that tricky part because the dust cover wants to hold on, mostly because they put tape on the end, and of course then that would cause the dust cover want to hold on. Um, so we'll just kind of come in here and Cut a small hole so that we can peel this off the dust cover and then pull off the dust cover. Oh, no, I can just, we just can do it that way. Ah, now we're, we're free. Pull off our dust cover. Should we just, yep, just a standard uh, um, 36 inch. Um, I believe I ordered the, the Ultra Edge blade. And then um, I see now why it comes with the, the, um, the screw or the uh, the, the uh, wrench is because the uh, blade um, the blade retention screw is actually quite bigger than the normal ones. Uh, make sure I'm in there fully, and then oh there we go. Now I think I'm in there fully. I'll tighten it up. But yeah, this this uh, this blade retention screw is bigger than I think uh, some of the other ones have been. So there we go. All right, so we're all set, and the color is. <laughs> Blue, a super nice blue. Um, let's see, do we have a piece of white paper that might show the blue? We do. So, yeah, that actually gives you a really good indication of what that blue is. So, really nice, really nice blue. Um, so, no flash on flash, which is fine. Um, but it does. Whoops. Yep. Uh, very straightforward. It is. It's a really big, meaty saber. Um, so really nice detail work here. So it's kind of. Oh, there's our. There's our. Uh, 
there's our uh, our uh, uh, lockup sound. So uh, nice uh, open in the back for nice speakers. Uh, some nice detailing in the back. Again, interesting with the COVID Tech clip. It's interesting how they have it positioned high, and that's clearly because of the um, of the uh, uh, looking for a COVID Tech clip right quick. So or a uh, COVID Tech wheel, so we can see a COVID Tech clip attached to it. And let's see where there's my COVID Tech clip. So here's a COVID Tech clip. So um, you can see here this one is raised up, and it's probably because of this little uh, uh, weld work here. And I would call it weld work, but this or ornamentation. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it does work. So. It's functional. Um, it looks pretty well solid, so that's nice. Uh, nice grip. Uh, fits really well on the hand. Again, some nice detailing. Um, I really am digging this pattern. I love this this detail work here with the uh, with the ornamentation. Here is really nice. Uh, button is not a light up button. It's only a, a review video if I don't make the the lock up at least once. Um, and then on the other side is this, it's a very nice, it's kind of a, a leathery textured pattern. And I really like it because actually, if you want to hold it like this, it gives you a, it gives you a nice grip here. So it's actually quite nice. Um, again, a fairly big blade retention screw, which I think probably quite frankly is the only, the only, I wouldn't call it a downside, but the only detractor is it's just a really big screw sticking out here, which is a little unfortunate, um, but uh, not, not a deal breaker. And again, when you line it up, you've got great light through the holes here. Uh, so this is this is a really nice uh, uh, lightsaber. Um, we'll t I'll take a second, I'll just take a quick editing pause and see if I can um, determine what this is and what the value was. Um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and now we're back. So it wasn't E-L-E, it's E-V-E. So it's actually a, um, uh, of course now I've lost it. It's an Electrum Wind, E-L-E, Electrum Wind. So that's what it is. Um, and looking through the configurations, um, some things that I noted. So again, I kind of called out that this is a bit raised. You can actually order this blade as a button instead of a, uh, above the, the raise. This is a slightly cheaper option. I think it was a, lot, a couple of bucks though. Um, it does have the uh, gold bottom as opposed to the black you can order these stripes in in um uh, in a different model so they kind of basically go to the edge or you can get the rounded um the uh what else this is you have the silver the silver uh non-illuminated um uh, uh switch here um but yeah overall so 200 dollars lightsaber 200 dollars mystery box 260 dollars lightsaber so 60 dollars savings works for me and, and again i think you know I, I i actually have been thinking about like what do i what can i use as a standard cane without the without the the extra piece and um that says lightsaber i want, I want, I want when i when i walk down the street i want people to say you're using a cane as a lightsaber i think this does that so i think this is this is kind of this is a neat win for me in that I can be like, yep, hey, look, this is going to be, uh, you know, this is a cane lightsaber. Um, and then when I'm done using the cane, because really the only modifications I'm making this to the blade, I have to put a whole blade on it and I got a lightsaber again. So with that in mind, um, let's set this guy aside and now let's take a look at the brew guard. And so as I mentioned, the brew guard um, is more of a billy club style and you'll see that right away. Um, and, and it was kind of purchased, the, the purchasing decisions were, were very similar where uh, to that thought process of, hey, I want a lightsaber that um, I'm going to be happy to have and own, but that I can easily make into a cane. Um, you know, and again, uh, uh, I, I'm just fortunate enough, I'm in a position where I'm fortunate enough where I can, I can kind of splurge on things like this. Um, I know there are uh, you know, people out there who... Um, you know, are a little less less able to do that, um, but in my case, uh, you know, through all sorts of reasons, I, I can manage it. So, um, here is uh, the Broodguard LE, uh, and you can see it's got the it's got the kind of handle here. Um, the uh, it's very quite deep, uh, which is interesting. And one of the things that I had them do, and you can see that they've done that is I actually ordered another uh, set of uh, blade retention screws. Um, and the reason for that is I was a wee bit worried about um, the blade being in there locking in tight. So uh, they've actually put in one here and one here. Uh, so they're in there and they're longer. Now this should be, 
Uh, there's the the Covitec, Cov yeah, the Corvitec clip. Uh, nice open pommel for the sound, so very it's going to have a deep sound to it. But this should be a diamond, uh, a diamond um, uh, a blade. Um, I did spend a little bit on this because again, I'm going to be walking around with it for a while, and so I wanted to have something kind of fancy. Um, the rechargeable batteries. There's the the port. Um, it actually does look like. Well, I guess we should turn it on because it looks like. Uh, everything is actually, it doesn't look like there's a tag there. Now the question is, ah, it's right there. That's super cool. Uh, it's actually on the end. Um, and so, yep, it's, and I did see the USB port, whoops, I did see the USB port, so let me turn this off. I did see the USB port, so I can come back in and, and uh, connect it up and, and customize it. Um, it does come with the two uh, Li-on rechargeable batteries, um, which is my preference, so that I can just plug these up and charge them up. Um, the speaker is really tough to push in. Come on, give you a push. I don't want to push on the speaker itself. I'm trying to push on that ring on the outside um, so that I can get it in here enough so that I can get the... the pommel to grip in there we go now it's gonna go now it's gonna go and go and go and go and go so as i mentioned uh my the um you know i'm gonna put a put a blade on a, a bigger blade and let me find uh let me find a uh, hex wrench so i can pull these off um long term um i didn't want to have i didn't want this i mean again i i'm fortunate enough where this isn't going to become a permanent cane for me um, I will eventually recover from my hip surgery, uh, and I will eventually just turn this into a nice standard uh, lightsaber. So um, what I did is I actually ordered their standard uh, blade. Now, the reason why I didn't order a custom blade yet is because I don't know how long I need it to be. Um, and so I went by my physical therapist today. They did a measurement, and I now know how, uh, how much I need, what, what kind of length I need. And so now I can go do some complicated measurements. We can do some math, 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 and then I'll know exactly what I need. In the meantime, um, or when I'm done with it, I have a nice billy club style, uh, very short blade. So we will slide that in, tighten down the blade, uh, and give her a turn on and see the colors. It should be a red pulsing to an orange. Um, boop, like that, and boop, like that. And so again, what I'll end up doing is um, uh, I'll measure, I'll end up measuring the depth that the blade goes in. Um, I know where I want the handle, the handle, and then I'll measure uh, um, basically the length to the floor and um, then calculate up how, basically how long I need the blade to be. So we'll get right here. And nice red, let me get my piece of paper again. So you can see the red. And it does kind of pulsate between a red and an orange. So there's the orange. And then it, it's in, then kind of waver back to a red. There it goes, a super nice dark red. And so now uh, I've got a nice, uh, you know, basically it's going to be a king where um, I'll be able to, I can grip it up here if I want to, or I can grab it down here. Um, I do want to do some fun stuff with the sounds. We'll see if I can pull that off. Uh, I'm hopeful. Um, but again, the idea is that, uh, you know, when I'm working, walking around, um, you know, home, walking around the office, or I'm going on a trip uh, soon, I'll have something like this, and, and uh, if TSA will let me through with it, and I'll uh, um, be able to walk around with a lightsaber cane. Um, so, um, kind of doing some, some review of the detail work here. Let's, let's start with the button. I love the fact that the button's here. I think that's super neat. Uh, oh, flash on flash. Yep, let's, uh, I guess we should test, uh, there we go. Yep, so it does, uh, we get the, uh, color change with his hip. Okay, turn it off. So again, very cool button. It, you know, nice, firm. I think the grip is kind of comfortable. 
I may decide to wrap this with a little bit of leather or something. It depends on how long I have to use this for. Um, I don't think it's impossible uh, or uncomfortable. It's just going to take my, maybe a little bit more comfortable to wrap it. Um, Kovatek clips so that I can wear it on my, uh, on my right hip. Um, I could potentially wear it on my left hip and have the, uh, the grip out. So depending on how I want to do it. Right. Uh, the, again, Retlarth port, nice and, and hidden. Really nice work here. There's some very nice uh, texture work done on the, the back of the hilt here, which again, if I was using it as a weapon or a billy club, uh, gives me a nice grip. Uh, basically a big empty hole here for the speaker, and, and that's not a bad thing. It basically is a nice big bass. It's, it's got a really deep throaty sound to it. I think you hear that. Nice detailing work up here. Um, and then again, uh, uh, nice windows in the front. I ordered it with the windows extra. I think it just gives it a little bit of something. I was a little bit worried about the uh, the weight on it uh, or, or the structuralness of it, but I think given the quality of it, and while I'm a, I'm a big dude, I'm, I'm over 200 pounds, um, I'm not putting all my weight on this. Um, now, again, um, Falcon uh, Falcon Cosplay um, is looking to use, you know, put her weight on hers. Um, I am not. I am um, going to be doing partial load bearing um, and that was a big consideration when it comes to the blade so when I do order the blade I will be ordering the heavier blade what I'll do is order a heavier blade um, with either no tip or um, the tip not glued on and then once I have it we'll just um, remove the tip put a non-stick foot on it Bob's your uncle and now I can walk around looking stylish and impress people at work and and such um, so yeah, you know, I think for, for my knees, this is this is super cool. And again, I really like it as a lightsaber. It'll go up with with the others, uh, you know, once as we get our lightsaber wall put together. Um, and it looks really neat. Um, and um, yeah, it's actually, again, it's, it's, a, it's a ultra saber. It's just a heavy piece of metal. Um, and it could definitely, uh, you know, if, if somebody comes busting into the house, they, uh, I think they would be worried if we whacked them upside the head with this. It's, it's, it's solid. Um, so again, I think I think I kind of got lucky here. I got um, I have the, the the saber I wanted to use as a crutch or as a cane uh, Cane slash crutch because that's kind of what it is. And then I have another option um, that I think is really um, Again very elegant and, and I think you know if I feel like if I'm in a position where I'm like this it actually doesn't look slight sabery enough um, which I think a case could be made. It's, it is kind of black. It's it's black and silver But it's not obvious what it is. I think this is pretty obvious um, and again, if I'm, especially because uh, if I could turn down the sounds, you know, I can put my hand over the speaker and use it uh, very easily. So um, something to play around with. Uh, but uh, no, I'm really pleased with, with both these purchases. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, I think these are, it's, it's really cool. Again, I, I, I'm still really digging uh, the lightsaber collecting. I, I still really do like ultra sabers. Um, uh, I, um, I'm really, really impressed at how quickly I got this. Um, I had Wednesday put in the order after asking their support team all sorts of questions. And then, um, uh, and they being really quick to answer. And then um, oh. on Thursday, um, they came back with the last answer around um, adding the blade retention screws, which we did. Um, and it, it shipped that day. So not only were they able to process a change order and get it done, and then get it shipped, but they did it all on the same day. And then because I, and I paid for the overnight uh, shipping um, so that we can fiddle with this over the weekend, um, trying to get ready for PAX West, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to, I really wanted to have something for PAX West. That was kind of my goal is I want to have this ready for PAX West for my cosplay because uh, it's either this or crutches. My hope is this and um, it'll at least go in theme with the cosplay. Uh, so, um, I did rush it to get it here, um, but they turned it around really fast. And, and again, I, I continue to be impressed by just their offerings, you know, so, um, I, you know, I, I know that there are people who aren't, but I know there are people who are, and I, you know, I think everybody can like what they like. Um, so anyway, uh, as always, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my, my videos. I hope that you find them interesting or at least entertaining. Um, and, uh, yeah, expect, uh, expect some more updates from me soon. We got some cool plans, 
um, over the next few weeks, including I hope to do some video at PAX West that I'll upload, uh, maybe some before that, um, and then I might have even some more interesting stuff coming up in September that I'm really excited to share with you guys. You guys have, uh, have been really, really responsive and, and very kind to watch the videos, and so it's kind of fun for me um, as a side thing. So uh, I'm not making any money off of this, obviously, but it's, it's fun, so uh, I really enjoy it. So again, as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Um, and if you have any questions, get me on Twitter as Darth Dreadog. Get me on uh, Reddit uh, as the same. Um, and I'll uh, see you next time.